Hello, and welcome to Good Morning Loughborough. My name is Taryn. And I'm Rachel, and this is what's coming up in today's lineup. Coming up, Ellie Woods, a Loughborough first year student, tells us about her biggest musical inspirations and performs for his live in the studio. And Hattie Borden, our LSU RAG chair, discusses her time as chair over the pandemic and things for us to look forward to in RAG for the rest of the year. First up today, we'll be chatting to the Loughborough Gardening Society, who have just been recently nominated for Bright Network Society of the Year. Here is a short clip to learn more about their work. Hi, we're Loughborough University Landscape and Gardening Society, which is one of the few student-led gardening societies in the UK. Our allotment is being looked after by both student and volunteer for over 10 years. And we host a wide variety of well-established plants, flowers, herbs, um, of all sorts. And everything is grown um, in an in organic and self-sufficient way. And we really want the students to learn about how to do self-sufficient community gardening. Our allotment includes two wildlife ponds which have been ground for birds and bats, as well as an insect hotel and pollinator friendly plants such as Pedalia and Marigold, which is part of our active fight against the 40% decline in UK insect populations. Intensive agriculture and fertilizer primarily cause soil erosion, which can be avoided through sustainable gardening practices. We grow, we grow companion plants to improve garden health and productivity. We use both peat free and our own compost for fertilization, which we produce from grass and leaf mulching. We also call waste coffee grounds from university cafes, which also act as natural pest repellents. Our allotment is fully self sufficient with electricity produced from solar panels and water for irrigation collected from the rain. At the same time, we run frequent workshops throughout the year which aid in educating students about the benefits of community gardening. In the past year, this has included growing fruit, vegetables and flowers, uh, taking harbour cuttings and potting houseplants. We also collaborate with a campus initiatives such as Fruit Roots, a fruit foraging trail, who have helped us host apple pressing workshops and an apple baking competition. Our activities are not just limited to the student population, but also involve the wider community. Due to our connection with the local community centre, Fear and Hall, we're able to run monthly plant sales that raise money for both the society and other local community interest groups that are focused on sustainability, such as Transition Loughborough. Our efforts within the community has been recognised by RHS. We have won Level 5 Outstanding Awards for It's Your Neighbourhood in Britain and Bloom competition for seven years in a row, with 27 points this year for the section for Environmental Responsibility. Joining us today is Katie Thompson, media representative of Loughborough Gardening Society. Thank you for joining us today, Katie. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, good, thank you. Brill, brill. So we know that there are so many opportunities for students to get involved in different societies and other extracurriculars at their time at university. What brought you to this society in particular? So I had started learning how to garden a couple years before joining university and I had just started learning how to grow tomatoes. So I actually went to Loughborough because I saw this is a society that I could join. And I was looking for just meeting other people who enjoyed gardening as much as I did and just learning new things about gardening. What's your favorite memory of the society? Uh, my favorite memory is probably back in June of last year, we have a lot of international European students. So we celebrate Midsummer every year, which is a summer solstice festival. And what we do is we collect our flowers, we make flower bands, we uh, do a lot of just general June uh, gardening as well as making fresh food. And I think that was my favorite memory. It's just a very exciting time. It shows when all our members get together and have, have a break and have a lot of fun together. So what does self-sufficient community garden, gardening look like and why is it such an important thing that we should be doing? So self-sufficient community gardening is can be quite organic and it can be quite it can be sustainable in a way that you collect rainwater, use peat-free compost because a lot of our gardening techniques are actually unrenewable. We're collecting uh, a lot of pesticides and a lot of fertilizer that are damaging our soils and our ecosystems. So self-sufficient community gardening can be about working with the environment, working with our insects, our friendly insects, our pollinators, 
and using more renewable resources that keep the soils healthy and keeps everything happy and everything working together. Um, it was mentioned in the VT about your connection with sustainability. What can the viewers at home do to be more vi environmentally friendly? So for students, if they have house plants or if they have a, a small outdoor space, it can be about making sure to use peat-free compost uh, so that you're not using unrenewable compost. It can be about maybe collecting up your own waste to make compost bins so that you can make your own types of fertilizer for the plants. It can be more about using organic pesticides and insecticides when you're trying to get rid of uh, insects off your plants and just all sorts of things really. It can also be about joining allotments, getting into some urban gardening as well, uh, meeting other people and just talking about it, sharing, sharing your knowledge with other students as well. So on that, I'm sure that we've got lots of students at home who are thinking, how do I get involved? How, how can the viewers at home get involved with joining the society? So we meet every Friday, 2 to 5 p.m. at the Lag Shed, which is just past Margaret Key Road at the very top of Car Park 5. And we meet all throughout the term. We meet in and out of term as well, all throughout the year. If you want to get involved any time, uh, you can just come along to a session before you buy a membership as well. Uh, we don't mind if you haven't bought a membership yet. Congratulations on um, becoming a finalist uh, for the Bright Network um, Society of the Year. What's actually, what's next for the society and what can we expect from you guys? We're interested in starting more, working more with our members and working more with our social media. So we're thinking of starting tutorials on how to, how to do gardening, how to plant seeds, just simple things that people can learn. We're interested in showcasing what our members do, having like spotlights on social media for important things our members do, uh, and things like that. Uh, we're also interested in just working more with our with our members and teaching them throughout the year different types of gardening skills such as house plant cuttings and making organic jams and more food produce production that's great yeah. thank you so much for joining us today um so thank yeah thank you so much for coming in today thank you thanks so at Loughborough, there are so many ways that students can get involved in sections and societies, and RAG is one of those ways. Joining us next is Hetty Borden, the current RAG chair. Um, let's find out what RAG has to offer. Hi, I'm Hetty, and I'm the Loughborough Students' Union RAG chair. RAG is the fundraising section at LSU, and we are here to enhance your life at university and beyond. So whether you want to trek across Iceland, skydive from 13,000 feet, run through a cloud of rainbow paint at our colour dash, or sit back and relax at our movie night, just email me, rag at lsu.co.uk. So Hetty, thank you so much for coming in today. No worries, it's great to be here. How are you finding your second year as the head of RAG? And what inspired you to run again? I'm finding it really refreshing having a second year as RAG chair. I think everyone on the exec team really struggled last year. There were so many events that we couldn't do and so many opportunities that we weren't able to facilitate. So being able to come back for a second year and put on those events and also enable my committee to do what they were elected to do as well has just been absolutely wonderful to see and it's just great seeing them thrive as well in this element. And in terms of what inspired me to run again for a second year, I think last year seeing RAG without all of its usual like livelihood of events and opportunities and general fundraising throughout the year helped me see some of the cracks in how we work and helped me establish some long-term priorities that I'd like RAG to work towards. So being having a second year as chair has just helped me to set them up and start us in the right direction. So speaking of events, what events have you managed to put on this year? So we've already had a really great calendar of events that we've run this year. We did a cinema night during Freshers. We brought back our Colour Dash, which was a great success. And we also launched a brand new Crazy Bingo event, which was also <laughs> really fun to, to host. Yeah. So of all of the ones you've been involved in, what has been your favourite event so far? I think Colour Dash has probably been my favourite so mm -hmm. far. Just seeing so many students let go, and get covered in powder paint and also getting covered in powder paint myself. Yeah. It's just infectious, the fun is. 
So we know that you've got a, new, a brand new in-person event this year. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Christmas market? Yeah, so we ran the Christmas market as a virtual event last year and it was a really great success with over 60 small businesses taking part. And we're really excited this year to launch it in person as well. So on Monday the 13th of December from midday to 7pm in the basement, we're inviting small businesses to come along and sell their crafts. So it's a great opportunity for students to come along and get some Christmas gifts for their family and friends. So speaking of the small businesses, how can they get involved with um, RAG? Yeah. With the event. So we're inviting student businesses and small businesses from Loughborough, um, whether they're students, staff or alumni, everyone's welcome to get involved. They just need to get in touch with me at rag at lsu.co.uk and I'll walk them through the process to sign up. And what's the rest of the RAG calendar looking like for 2022? So we have our usual cohort of summer events, including our summer colour dash and summer beer colour event. But I'm also really excited to be launching a brand new fashion show event in March 2022. And this came about with a student approaching us with this idea and we're making it happen. And that's one of the favourite things to be able to do. Brilliant. Thank you so much for coming in today. It's been a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Yeah. Um, up next, we'll be joined by Loughborough's very own Ellie. Uh, we'll be chatting to her about her musical inspirations and her love for music. Let's cut to so, a sample of her past work. Thank you so much for joining us. So we know you're a first year, so what do you study here? So I study media and communications and I'm loving it so far. It's really um, been amazing like getting involved with everything, especially the, the media department as well. What's your transition been from home to Loughborough and how are you finding university so far? So it's obviously a big thing to, to go to university, but at the moment it's all going well. I think Going, coming from like a small area in the country and then coming to Loughborough is a big step especially but um, it's just there's so many more opportunities when you come to uni which has been great. Speaking more about your music, how did you get first get involved with music and start, yeah? Yeah so I've always um, been interested in music from like a really young age, I've always been like singing, my parents used to play like music to me when I was a bit like a baby and I'd like listen to it um, and then I've, um, I did grades in singing as well all through high school and then sick form and then I just knew that I wanted to do, hopefully um, do singing like as a career as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there one artist in particular that really inspires you? Yeah, so I don't know if you've obviously heard of Adele. Um, she's got her new album out at the moment. Um, she's always inspired me. I think especially because her music is all about her voice. 
Uh, obviously, she's changed a bit at the moment, but um, she's always just been so successful just from singing itself Absolutely. and not like the image or anything, which is so inspiring, I think, to uh, young girls especially. Um, so I've always loved Adele, yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking more about the future, what um, do you see yourself pursuing music as like um, a career or something? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's such a tough industry to get into, but uh, it's always something I've loved and would love to do it as like a career. Yeah. Um, but also, I'm interested in like anything in the media as well. Yeah. So you're going to perform a song by Holly Humberstone, Haunted yeah. House. Is there a reason why you've chosen this song? To, yeah. To so um, Holly Humberstone is. I love her. She's also really inspiring, and she's about, I think she's 20 or something, so she's young, and so it's easy to like understand her music. And she wrote this song about like moving um, from her house and like growing up, which I can relate to, is obviously going to university. And it's also, I think, at this age, you're kind of trying to discover yourself and like your identity. So it also was about that, her song. I think you can hear in like the lyrics as well. Mm. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ellie. Can't wait to hear you sing, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you next Sunday. Uh, but before we go, here she is, Ellie Buds, performing a Holly Humberstone song, Haunted House. They say this house is haunted, but all these ghosts As it slips away from me, I still hold on hopelessly. I lay my head to sleep and say good night. Ringing up for daughters, made the house a fortress, and daddy needs and honeybees. Sing a sweet, can't believe we're turning off the lights. And one day I'll drive past you if I recognize you. And I'll try not to stay too long, see the soul I grew upon. In a couple years I'll be alright So dark